Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember Scorpio, these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates with you as always. So let's see what we have for you for the week. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux for this week. We have the Four of Cups and we have the Ace of Coins. We have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Hanging Man, we have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. You know, I think there's a bigger message here, but, you know, there was a kind of peripheral message that I was getting here, Scorpio, which was there may well be a difficult decision on whether you accept an offer on your property or not, because some of you might not want to leave. And there's a feeling of giving it some more thought is really what I'm getting quite strongly for some of you. So, I mean, I don't know whether that I feel it's an additional message here, but the instant message that I was getting when these two cards came out was, there may well be some kind of offer being presented to you here in, I mean, it could well be a career thing as well, where you don't want to leave one and, but there's another opportunity being presented, but it feels more like your home, your home, your property, or it feels this energy of, yeah, but I don't know whether I want to accept this offer or not, because I don't know whether I want to leave now. And there's a strong indication of you need to take a step back and give this some more thought. Because it's interesting, it's not the meaning of this card with the Ten of Wands, but the Ten of Wands can be about burden, but it also feels like someone's holding on to the history. The history you have in the place as well, and is not ready to let that go, because they're, they're hanging there. And there's a strong energy here, a strong message that I'm getting. It might well be you're having second thoughts this week about moving home, moving property, or whether you really want to walk away from something here. is what I'm getting. Other messages, I guess, you know, that I was, um, I am getting as well is, but that, that was a really strong message for some of you. And I feel that's, that's a strong message to have. So the, the Ace of Coins can be about um, the home and the property, an offer could be starting over in the home or the property. If there's been issues in a relationship or getting a fresh start, moving or relocating in homes or property, if there's been issues. I mean, this feels like this is something that's about a relationship or significantly affected it. So, you know, it might well be for some of you that there's considerations in moving and relocation for other reasons. So there's a, it feels like you're taking time out to think about the Ten of, of Cups. Long-term committed relationships, marriage, happy family, happy home, blissful, harmonious energy here. But it's in the challenge position. So this is about taking a step back to really see how you move forward. There's a feeling of somebody doesn't necessarily want to face walking away. And there's a reason why you don't want to walk away right now. So again, for some of you, this could be a relationship thing, but I was really getting that first message very strongly. Uh, and Spirit is telling you, if, there's a reason why you don't want to face this, why it's too difficult to look at, why you can't actually, you're stuck in terms of practically and physically walking away from something. Because deep down, you have to really listen to your intuition, whether you truly want to or not. Ten of Wands can also be about burden, you know, and an opportunity to lift a weight, lift a burden. For some of you, there may well be an offer being extended to you in relationship terms here as well, to start anew in the home, the family, the relationship, and the four corners of stability and security, because there's a feeling of letting something play out here, or waiting to see how something plays out. So for some of you, this could be a relationship thing, but I was really getting that message very strongly and having second thoughts. Well, 
having second thoughts about whether you want to walk away from a relationship, but having second thoughts on whether you want to sell your home or property is what I'm getting because I can't, this is, feels like an energy if I just don't want to let go of the history. It's interesting, Scorpio, so take what resonates with you. That was coming through quite clearly to me. Okay, final message for Scorpio. And the message from Spirit is trust your intuition. Don't do anything if it doesn't feel right. Wait. We are yeah, manifestation. Be very clear and honest about what you wish to manifest, you see? And that's the energy very clearly. You have to be clear. Uh, now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. And we have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Yeah, you'll get the illumination, but it's not yet. It might well be there's new perspectives or you need to take time to just let something play out and let the answer come to you in your own time. That's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.